Well, just take a look at this drone video capturing the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge downriver. This video shows how it's starting to take shape on both sides of the river. After roughly five years of construction, we've wondered how things are going. So we sent our business editor, Rod Maloney, down to the new bridge construction site to see what's happening and how it's progressing. If you've not been south of downtown lately, you need to know that the skyline is changing in a spectacular way. The Gordie Howe Bridge is taking shape. Most impressive about the new international span, says Bridging North America Construction Chief Terry Poole, is its size and scope. This is by far the longest cable stay bridge in North America. Overall, a mile and a half long, and the distance between spires on each side runs 2,600 feet or a half a mile. To preserve the shipping channel, there are no piers in the water. To give you an idea of its height, the towers are the same height as the Renaissance Center Middle Tower, 727 feet. Right now, the tower on the American side is taller than the one on the Canadian side. On the U.S. side, we have one more lift to go, and then we have the roof section, and then we're going to start peeling those, those blue forms off. So the tower is coming to an end. Yet this is no competition. The competition isn't to the top, it's to the middle. So getting to the middle is the most important thing. And they're a long way from that. It's once in a generation project, right? Grant Hilbers is the vice president of engineering at the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority. And he tells us one of the most prominent parts of the construction you can see from afar is a set of rather ugly looking rusted support beams. It's known as an unbalanced cantilever approach. So those temporary uh, uh, supports were intentionally put up so that it allowed the, the construction to prog progress. Those will all be gone when this is done. Because a cable stay bridge is quite different from the neighboring ambassador, which is a suspension bridge. Cable stay means you're holding the whole thing up with massive wires, 216 in all, running between 400 and 1500 feet each, and each cable has between 38 and 122 wire mesh strands connected through giant tubes along the deck's siding. In order to stay out of the shipping channel, they drilled massive pilings under each tower. So the pile cap here that we're looking at is, has, is constructed on top of six 10-foot diameter drilled shafts that go down to bedrock. Which is how far? Uh, bedrock's around 100 feet in this area, and then uh, we drill uh, you know, six to 10 feet further to, to anchor them into that bedrock. How many Michigan roads you've been on where you saw rusted rebar sticking out of the concrete? Well, they can't do that here. It's going to last 125 years. So they're using stainless steel rebar with highly strengthened concrete, and then they're going to put a bed of highly strengthened asphalt on top of that. Now, the Gordie Howe Bridge will have six lanes of traffic, three going each way. But if all of this looks wider than that, you'd be right. The Gordie Howe has a unique feature many may want to try to test their fear of heights. Both bikes and pedestrians will be able to cross, going to two separate entrances, uh, one on Canada and Canadian side, one on the Detroit side. And most importantly, it's gonna be free, toll free. All right, so you wanna know, when do I get to drive on the Gordie Howe Bridge? Well, the first order of business is right behind me here. They've gotta connect the bridge over the river, and they expect to finish that sometime in August of 2024. But then they have to finish all the periphery stuff. That doesn't get done probably until the end of the year, and it could take a little longer depending on how much delay the pandemic caused. They don't know that yet, but expect to drive on the Gordie Howe Bridge in 2025. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Really fascinating how that all is put together, Rod. We appreciate that. And as much as it's going to be the longest cable stay bridge in North America, this skyline changing design is popular and in place in other cities around the world. So the Gordie Howe International Bridge will be one of the top five longest cable stays in the world. Wow.